Hey guys, so I'm at our one rented farm right now. Actually getting some manure hauled today. I was just coming over to check how far they're getting. So these were both rye fields. This stuff was planted a little bit sooner in the fall and I hit it with some fertilizer in the spring and this one I sprayed to kill. So that's dying off and we're getting manure put on it to plant corn in here in a little bit. And then we want to harvest this rye pretty soon. We're trying to get an idea when we want to mow it. It's not crazy tall yet. We've actually been somewhat dry here this April compared to other years. There's still moisture in the ground. I don't think it's limiting it too much, but. So what I do to check the rye, just take my knife. The head of grain is working its way to the top of the plant and we want to harvest before it sticks out the top because at that point the feed value would start to drop for forage. So this one here is almost at the top. See that grain head? If I take a shorter plant, that's still three inches from the top or so. The big question is going to be how fast is it going to progress? So we'll keep a close eye on it this week. Looks like we got another spreader heading out this way. One nice thing about not getting as much rain in April is it's actually plenty dry to haul manure. Usually we're a little borderline this time of year trying to run the tankers on the fields. O two, O seven, eleven, and twelve. And O seven's there actually. Just loaded up nine heifers. These are all between uh, five and six month old. And what happened was last fall we had a lot of heifer calves born way too many and there's no use we raise them all up start milking them we won't have room for them so we found a neighbor that's willing to buy them off of us so just gonna take them over to his place today we stopped at the grain business across the road to get a weight going past our rye field here again we'll have to stop and check it see if it changed since yesterday just checking this rye again here today seems like the heads aren't moving too much it's definitely growing though it feels like it's getting taller it's a little dry, but it's still enough moisture there for it to grow. We just ran those heifers off there in his barn. So one of our cow brushes got knocked off the post, or at least uh, the top part of it. Thankfully, not the whole thing. We lost one of the nuts, so we're trying to get the right one for that. This robot feed pusher isn't working right now either. I stuck a new battery in it yesterday, so whoa, there's a mouse. Uh, that's not good. We can't have mice in here. Got the robot going and one of the wires was disconnected. Got it figured out now. Hopefully the battery was our main issue though. It was acting a little weird lately. Got to break out the sunglasses now. It's mid 80s, sunny today. Feels like summer. I'm out here at this bulk bin that we got. We're now on our second batch of calf feed in here. And the first batch, we had a little bit of moldy feed there at the end. Must have been a little bit of water getting in there somewhere. I'm suspicious it's around that ring there in the middle that has all those bolts. I'm just gonna go up here and try and put some caulk on top of all those bolts that go through there. They told us we need to clump the seams right here. We did that right off the bat. But the, the moldy chunks were up farther, so it, it had to have been something up there. This isn't quite sitting flush here. You can see that bolt on the one side of the washer. There's a gap. I would say that's most likely the cause. I want the hoy around the bin. 24 bolts through there. I just jumped inside of our triticale silo here, see how much is left. We're getting right down to the bottom. We're actually below the floor level of the feed room. This is a 20 foot diameter, 60 foot tall silo. The plan is to put the rye in here first and then we'll put triticale and ag bags outside. Hopefully the rye will fill this silo up. 
So I'm working around the new house, got some more topsoil hauled in. I want to get this spread out. Hey guys, it's the next morning here. It's actually my morning. I was supposed to have off. I'm pretty much off, but I'm just helping open up this third bunker silo because we're gonna need some more silage to finish out today's feeding. I was hoping we'd get to the end of April before we had to open this bunker. At least it's middle of April, so we should be good till harvest. We got this nice and full in the fall, so it's got a lot of feed in there. Okay, never quite know what you're gonna see when you open these up, but looks really good. I don't see any spoiled feed in here. So hopefully it's that way the whole way back through. It's the afternoon now. This morning we were getting that bunk opened up. We went on and checked a couple fields and it's starting to feel like the crop is changing. The grain heads are working the way to the top. We figured we might as well start mowing today. I don't think the crop's gonna grow a lot more. Got the mower hooked up, greased. Everything's ready to go. Yeah, we'll get started mowing today, probably finish up Monday. We'll do some of the fields that are maturing the quickest. So I'm here at this first field. Kind of interesting, you can see that line right there. This outside bit is the triticale. And we have a bunch of acres of triticale. That stuff matures a little bit later. This stuff is almost in my waist now. So I was finding a lot where that green head is right up at the tip, just about to pop out. They're calling for a chance of rain here the next day and a half. If we get a little bit of rain before it dries too much, it doesn't really hurt anything. We'll get it tetted out next week. Hopefully we can chop it before too long. You can see this triticale. This stuff would grow more. We just had a little bit left in the drill before we switched to rye here when we got started at this farm. Well, now it's starting to rain. Got a couple small fields done. This crop's looking really good. We were a little bit worried about yield with the drier weather, but stuff really grew. I guess there's still moisture in the ground for it. I'm not worried about a little bit of rain right now. The ground is plenty dry. It's actually good to see some rain. If it gets muddy, it's not good to be mowing, but I don't think it'll be a problem today. started picking up a little bit more now my uncle Nelson pulled in with his pickup a few minutes ago I didn't get to talk to him but he's probably questioning the next generation on the farm here if we know what we're doing mowing hay in the rain well it just dumped rain see how what the driveway is there I was able to finish up the strip I was working on but gonna call it quits for today so I got about 18 acres cut. We have 60 acres of the uh, rye that we want to mow here. We'll start back up Monday. I'm not even mad. I'm glad we got some rain. It's been a little bit dry. It'll be good for these fields that just got manure spread on them and the triticale still needs to grow more. So this stuff I just mowed, if it gets rained on, it's not a big deal right away. 
What we don't like to see is it get dry and almost ready to chop and then get rained on it. At that point, we think it loses more of the feed quality. So I'll come back Monday. That'll be in the next video, so we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.